As you all know, it's common knowledge that compass works to indicate our location using the Earth magnetic field. But did you know that there is actually an animal that could do the same thing? And it's the famous salmon? You may have heard the word salmon when you're watching Master Chef or when you're walking through the supermarket or when you're flipping through the menu book. And it's really popular because of its prominence in culinary aspects. But do you know that salmon is way more than that. Do you know that salmon is very beneficial for all of us in both the environment and our lives in general? Hi, I'm Aida Khodinisovodai, and in this video, we're going to talk about salmon. Salmon salar, better known as salmon, is a raven fish, a part of the family salmon a day, along with trout, char, grayling, and whitefish. Salmon is classified into Pacific salmon and Atlantic salmon, and there are eight species of it in total. Salmon's most common habitats are freshwater rivers, streams, lakes, open bay, and coastal waters. Its native origins are found in the North Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean. Salmon could be recognized from its silver-colored skin, and a distinctive fin called the adipose fin, which could only be found in salmon and trout. The average size of an adult salmon is 2 to 3 feet long, with its weight up to 10 pounds. Salmon is noticeable by its beautiful orange-colored flesh, and this has become its icon. Wild salmon get their ruddy shade by eating krill and shrimp, which contain a reddish-orange compound called astaxanthin. Salmon's charm also came from its smooth and soft texture, making it easy to work on, unlike other fish. And all of these combined make salmon a perfect dish material favored by many. Not only is salmon very favorable, but it also has a very interesting life story. Salmon is an anadromous species, which means they were born in fresh water, but they spent most of their lives in salt water and returned to fresh water to spawn. And to do this, they use their olfactory senses, which is their sense of smell, to find their spawning grounds in their home river. At least one species of salmon can also sense differences in Earth's magnetic field to navigate back to its home stream from the open ocean. Salmon are highly adaptive as they can survive through various environments and strong currents. And because of its constant migration, Salmon also holds a very important role in an ecologic point of view. It is a keystone to the cycle of life in the ocean. Salmon act as an ecological process factor, important in the transport of energy and nutrients between the ocean, estuaries, and freshwater environments. Salmon's popularity didn't come for no reason, as it is both tasty and healthy. There are so many nutrients that can be found in salmon, such as vitamins, potassium, and selenium, and even the essential content, which makes salmon flesh red, is stated to be able to maintain skin elasticity. Now, because salmon is a very tasty and healthy and it's very favorable, it demands keep on rising, and this contributes to the economy. It is said by the World Wildlife Foundation that salmon aquaculture is the fastest growing food production system in the world, accounting for 70% or 2.5 million metric tons of the market. Furthermore, salmon also acts as a cultural influencer in some places, such as in Pacific Northwest tribes as source of food and even beliefs, and even in Japan as the classic Japanese breakfast. So, from all of the information that have been mentioned throughout the whole video, it is clear that salmon is a beneficial species for the world, for the environment, and for human lives in general. In ecological point of view, in cultural point of view, an economical point of view, and obviously in culinary point of view. And we know now that salmon is way more than just food, which is why it is important for us to know more about it. It is important for us to know how necessary it is to preserve its life and to learn from it, from its life story. Thanks for listening. Peace out.